Hello fact lovers, today we are here with some interesting facts about top 10 greatest emperors in the history of the world. So let's start. The first emperor is Genghis Khan 1162 to 1227. Originally known as Ramujin of the Borijin, Genghis was born holding a clot of blood in his hand. His father was Khan of a small tribe. But he was murdered when Tamujin was still very young. The new tribal leader wanted nothing to do with Tamujin's family. So with his mother and five other children, Tamujin was cast out and left to die. Of all those in this list, he is the only one to start with nothing. From the most brutal beginning possible, Genghis survived to unite the Mongolian tribes and conquer territories as far apart as Afghanistan and northern China. He left a mountain of skulls that remained for years in China. Genghis Khan paved the way for his grandson Kublai to become emperor of a united China and founder of the Yuan dynasty. In all, Genghis conquered almost four times the lands of Alexander the Great. He is still revered in Mongolia and in parts of China. The second great emperor was Alexander the Great, 356 to 323 BC. At different times, Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar, and Caligula are visited Alexander's glass tomb in Alexandria, Egypt. Augustus kissed the ancient corpse and accidentally broke the nose. Caligula stole Alexander's breastplate. Alexander was born a prince of Macedonia and tutored by Aristotle. By the age of 22, he had conquered Greece and set sail to Asia Minor. Here, what is now central Turkey? He cut in half the famous Gordian knot, fulfilling a Greek legend that whoever unraveled it would rule the world. In Syria, he destroyed the armies of Darius III and gained control of entire eastern Mediterranean coast. He entered Egypt as a liberator. From there, he fought in India, where his legendary horse Bacuphalus was killed. He was still on campaign at the age of 33 when a fever destroyed his health. At the time his empire stretched from Greece to northern India. The next emperor on the list is Tamerlane 1336 to 1405. Timur the Lame was born in modern day Uzbekistan about 400 miles north of the city of Kabul. He had a slight paralysis down one side as a child, which meant his early career was in politics. Despite being illiterate, he was highly intelligent. He spoke at least three languages and invented a variant of chess. He rose quickly to become senior minister to Mongol Khan. Then Tamerlane overthrew the Khan and begin a reign of warfare, slaughter and, yes, mountain of skulls, Tamerlane revered Genghis and claimed to be descendant from his second son. He used the city of Samarkand as his base, which Genghis himself had conquered. From there, Tamerlane conquered Persia, Armenia, Georgia and part of Russia. The fourth one is Attila the Hun, 406 to 453. The man known as the Scourge of God inherited his throne in modern day Hungary in AD 434. He began his rule by slaughtering Goth tribes in modern day Germany and Austria, then attacked the enfeebled Roman Empire. At one point, Attila offered to marry the Western Emperor's sister but made it clear that the dowry would be half her brother's lands. This splendid offer was refused. 
the whole breadth of Europe was at once invaded and occupied and desolated by the myriads of barbarians whom Attila led into the field, wrote Edward Gibbon in the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. Attila ruled territories from Germany to the Caspian Sea for almost 20 years. On his wedding night, he drank heavily and passed out. Whether it was a nosebleed or a rupture, Attila choked to death on his own blood. The fifth one on the list is Charlemagne. 742 to 814. Charles the Great, kings of the Franks, ruled a European empire based mainly around France, Germany, and parts of Italy. Although he could not write, he spoke Teutonic Latin and Greek. He was six feet four inches, a monstrous height for the period, which has since been confirmed by measurement of his skeleton. Oddly, his father was known as Papin the Short and was around 5 feet tall. Charlie Magne's first campaign came at the age of 27 when the Pope sought his aid in repelling the Lombards of Italy. Charlie Magne smashed them in the field and took the crown of Lombardy at his own. From his capital of Echain in modern-day Germany, he went on to flight 53 campaigns, most of which he led himself. He defended a Christian Europe from Muslim Saracens and pagan Saxons. Often beheading thousands in single day, he died aged 72 from a fever. Six on the list, the emperor is Pharaoh III of Egypt, 1479 to 1425 BC, responsible for the obelisk known as Cleopatra's Needle on the bank of the Thames. Thutmose III never lost a battle in 18 summer campaign. He was one of the first rulers to understand supply lines and sea power. Having inherited the throne of Egypt aged 7, he spent the first two decades as co-regent with his father's wife. When she died, he conquered lands in Palestine, Syria, Nubia and Mesopotamia. It was Thutmose III who established Egypt as a major power in the esteemed Mediterranean and his reign was a golden era of temple building and great riches. And he was humane in his treatment of the vanquished. He died aged 61. The seventh entry on the list is from India. He is Ashoka the Great, 304 to 232 BC. Born to the Mauryan ancient Indian imperial house, Ashoka loved to hunt and was a warlike young man. The favorite of his father, when his father died, Ashoka killed all his brothers and went on a brutal rampage to expand the empire. It culminated in the slaughter by a Daya river, where more than one lakh citizens were killed by his army. Afterwards, Ashoka was appelled at the carnage and vowed then to embrace Buddhism. He was a changed man. The laws that followed were relatively just and he set up pillars with his edicts carved on them across India. He even promoted vegetarianism and treated all his subjects as equal regardless of castes. By the time of his death, he ruled India, Pakistan, Nepal and Afghanistan. The eighth emperor is Cyrus the Great, 580 to 529 BC. Of a minor royal family, Cyrus became the first emperor of Persia, uniting the tribal Medes and Persians, as well as the usual mountain of skulls. He created what may be the first carter of human rights, available to be seen in the British Museum. He freed the Jews in Babylon when he conquered that city. Despite his benevolent side, Cyrus spent years conquering lands, murdering his enemies and establishing a vast empire that stretched from India to Greece. The ninth emperor is Chen Shi Wang, 259 to 210 BC. The boy known as Chang inherited a minor throne in China at the age of just 13. As an adult, he was a superb organizer. 
His achievement was not just in conquering the different regions of China in just nine years, but unifying them as an empire. With two trusted ministers, he established a bureaucracy taxation, standardized weights and measures, and a system of ruthless punishments for law-breaking. The first emperor of China is perhaps most famous for the terracotta army guarding his tomb. More than 8,000 life-sized warriors were created, as well as 600 horses and 130 chariots in the centralized government he created. The emperor was almost a figurehead. The structure of the government was so successful that when Shi Huang died at 49, his two most powerful ministers carried on without him for four years before they quarreled and his death became public knowledge. The tenth and the last entry on this list is Augustus Caesar, 53 BC to 14 AD. Born Octavian, the great nephew of Julius Caesar, was technically the first Roman emperor. He was made consul after Caesar's death, then formed a triumvirate with Mark Anthony and Marcus Aemilius Lepidus. They secured their power in Rome by executing thousands. The title Augustus meaning exalted, was granted by the Senate. Octavian changed his name to Gaius Julius Caesar to honor his predecessor, creating a tradition that would last 2000 years. To the German Caesars and Russian Caesars, Augustus was not a battle king. However, under his rule, the Roman Empire expanded to Hungary, Croatia and Egypt, as well as securing Spain and Gaul. He added more land than Julius Caesar and was worshipped as God in Rome. So these are the facts for today about these great emperors of the history. If you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share the video. Thank you.